Spurs yeah. going into your 14th season. How did you, you feel when, when you had to leave the club? Uh, disappointment. Obviously, I mean, the uh, big wrench to leave after all the years I've been here. Like whenever somebody says to you, well, you know, do you want to leave or you're not wanting any more contracts not being offered to you. Manchester United, Aston Villa and Ipswich were interested in signing him. But Pat plumped for Spurs' biggest rivals, Arsenal. Tottenham were leaving to go on a tour to Sweden. I went down to say cheerio to the boys, to the teammates, knowing that whenever they came back the next week, I wouldn't be there. And the, the, the directors, every one of them walked past me in the car park, totally blanked me. And from that minute on, I thought, what am I doing? Going up the country, down the country, if at the end of 13 years, this is the thing she get. So there was only one place I was going after that, and that was over the road to suit me. And hopefully, maybe create a bit of embarrassment for Tottenham as well, which is sad. I mean, I'm Tottenham absolutely through and through. But a bit of a slap on the mouth, and I mean, the fact that at that time I never dreamt about joining Arsenal, I wouldn't have done that. The Arsenal fans thought it was Christmas. I mean, it's the craziest thing that Tottenham ever did. They, they need, you know, I mean, just a ridiculous decision to allow him to go to the old enemy. Great save, big man. Lovely touch. Bob Wilson had been Arsenal's first choice keeper for nearly 10 years before becoming the goalkeeping coach. I think I knew from day one that I could never coach Pat Jennings anything. I could never teach him anything. He was not only my equal, he was, he was a far greater goalkeeper than myself. Pat helped Arsenal reach a European final. And Pat saved it! Oh, Pat Jennings has saved from Kempin! Despite his heroics in the penalty shootout, he only picked up a loser's medal. He also played in three FA Cup finals in his first three seasons, winning one, a thriller against Manchester United in 1979. Worse than the best four minutes of my life in football. We were 2 0 up, Man United got a goal back. And then within the second minute, I think, it was two each. McElroy's through. McElroy's through. And McElroy has done it. What drama here. McElroy for United. It's 2-2. Two -two. I'd already been up the steps at Wembley, picked the cup up, and I mean, I could just see the headlines in the papers the next day, like Arsenal have blown it. But uh, we've been straight up the field then. There's a minute left on the clock. Brady for Arsenal. Right across. Sunderland! It's there! It's 3 2. I mean, it was just four minutes. Incredible. Well, of those that I've seen, David Seaman, who I coached for 15 years, being a great goalkeeper, Schmeichel, Gordon Banks, who was of my time, who was a World Cup winner. But if you're talking about the most naturally gifted. Unique style. Oh, and Jennings was forced to save it with one of the best headers of the day. Everything about him that gave him this present. John Richards in there. Oh, and a fine save. I guess that I would probably put Patrick Anthony Jennings. So how long has the Pat Jennings lounge been in operation? Uh, five or six years now. But it's recently been all refurbed, so it's beautiful now. Well placed. Good looking fella there. <laughs> Nice to turn the clock back again, wouldn't it? 